voltage follower. Here's the circuit diagram for an op amp voltage follower. Now, rule for all op amp voltage amplifiers is that negative feedback keeps the op amps inputs the same. So we've got the output here is being fed back into the inverting input. So that's the negative feedback. And this happens unless the output is saturated, in which case the output can't follow the input. So we've got the two voltages here are going to be the same. We've got V in going to this input, V out going to the other one, which means that V out is equal to V in. If we apply this to the gain formula, the gain is V out over V in. They're the same voltage, so we end up with a gain of 1. Now you might wonder what the use of this is. Well, it's going to be a current amplifier or power amplifier. So I'll explain this. The circuit's going to draw very little current at the input. It might only be a few microamps going in. But if we use a power op amp, then we can get maybe a couple of amps of current being sunk or sourced from the output there. Power is volts times current. Now, it doesn't amplify the voltage at all, but it does amplify the current. So therefore, being a current amplifier, we can amplify the power. If we look at a graph of V out on the Y axis, V in on the X axis, what we see on this one is that we get the same voltage out as we get going in, unless we get uh, to beyond 13 volts. So the output is going to saturate at plus 13 or minus 13 volts. So that's the graph showing the characteristic of this circuit. Okay, going to give you another formula for this one is that uh, V out is equal to the what's called the open loop gain of the op amp multiplied by the difference in voltage between this is the non-inverting input and this is the inverting input here. So if we substitute V in and V out into this one, we've got V in going to the non-inverting input and into the inverting input, we've got V out. Now if we multiply out the brackets, we can collect like terms with V out. We can do divisions to get V out over V in. And what we end up with is V out over V in, which is again, is the open loop gain or the op amp divided by 1 plus the open loop gain. And this is going to be slightly less than 1, but it's going to be approximately 1 if the open loop gain is very large. And for a typical op amp that we use, we're going to end up with, we're going to have about 100,000 for the open loop gain, which will give us a gain that is very, very, very close to 1.